The connection when working on a mental well-being is not for the regular reason that we always read about, like, oh, endorphins and you want to live a healthy lifestyle. Listen, when you're doing jujitsu for two, three hours a day, you're exhausted, you're tired, and you got somebody on top of you who's trying to choke you out and he has all the energy in the world, it's going to make you go to some dark places to say, okay, are you going to quit or are you going to push through? I like going to those places. I'm obsessed with, and I've said it before in other videos, I'm obsessed with self-improvement. In all, all facets, self-improvement, self-development. I'm obsessed with that. And the only way you can know who you are, the only way you can know what you're really made out of is when you go through the hard shit. Period. If you live a cookie cutter lifestyle, everything has pretty much been given to you. You just got to just sit down and just go and press the gas pedal. Yeah. You never get any lessons. If you never have to shift the gear, you just press the brake and gas. That's it. You, you never get the lessons. Who you are, understanding who yourself comes from the hardship. When you get challenged. When your mind is, is telling you, give up, go home. When you go to some deep, dark places and you're still saying to yourself, I want to keep going. I want to do this. I can do this. That's when you start to know who you are. That's when it's going to reveal who, what you're capable of. I tell you, comfort is death. And I will always say that comfort is death. If you've gotten to a certain point where you're just coasting, you're dying because now okay you just know yourself up until that point what else, what else are you capable of what else is on the other side any sort of progress I've made it came from something severe has happened I had to go through some real stuff back against the wall and it forced me out of comfort it forced me out of coasting. It forced me out of thinking I had all the time in the world. And it kept on happening over and over and over again to the point I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put myself in this situation. Now. I'm going to put myself in hard times. I'm going to put myself in uncomfortable situations. I'm going to self-inflict discomfort because that's when I got my answers. You get your answers from the lowest point. It's not when you're riding high. It's not when you're riding, when everything's just going great. It's when everyone has gone home and it's just you and your thoughts. When you take the mask off, when the facade is gone, and now you have that real conversation with yourself, and now you can really look at yourself in the mirror and see who you really are because all the veils are lifted. Then you will know, nope, there's still something I need to do. There's still more work to be done. It doesn't happen though, like I said, when things are all sweet. It happens when you have to go to some dark places in your mind, some untapped places in your mind to get some answers, to get some solutions. Working out is just one way that you can self-inflict that dis discomfort by willing to go that extra mile, that extra minute, that extra set, that extra day, pushing just a little bit harder every day seeing what you're really capable of, enduring it, where this sucks, and it makes you go into some dark places, and that, that is where the light shines. It's crazy, but it's so true. The light shines at the darkest moments and in the darkest places. I had to go to some dark places, guys. I go to some dark places daily because I have to go to that shadow side. The shadow side gives me the answers to bring it over to the good side. My looks, a lot of my shadow traits is what got me to the dance. A lot of my shadow traits and going to that dark side is a gift, but I have to know how to channel it. So getting up early, going to the gym early, going to jujitsu religiously, doing physical shit. 
it's not because I'm trying to get ready for the beach in Thailand. That's a byproduct of it. I'm not even worrying about that because if I implement the work, this is going to be the outcome. If you keep coming back to jujitsu ju and really tap into it and really be focused and really train and really get it in, you're going to get better. You're going to level up. You'll get, belt, you'll get belts, all of that. It's a byproduct of it. But during that, you're problem solving. The analytical side of your brain is just growing, just developing. Your brain is firing like crazy. You're, you know, you're dealing with issues. You're dealing with people, you're dealing with different type of people, different type of situations that you have to constantly solve on the fly, different positions. Think about that part. You're doing something, some hard shit that most people will not do, will not endure. Well, I see it all the time. How many people I've seen quit? I've been doing it 10 years, over 10 years. You know how many people I've seen quit? You know how many people I've came up with and they just, they fell off. They fell off at blue. They fell off at purple. Same thing in life. I've seen a lot of people fall off. I fell, fell off at one point. And I'm like, no, oh, no, 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 no. We got to get this. We got to run this back. I'll keep running it back. I'll keep refining it. I'll keep doing it better. I'll keep getting it. I don't care. I'll keep on coming. You know, that's a bit of my, my dark side, going to those dark thoughts that I'm not oblivious to anything else. That's where the ego kind of comes into play, where I'm not, I'm focused on getting it done, and I'll continue to get it done. I don't care how long it takes. Time and this, I'm, I'm coming. And it's been like that. Developing patience, but within that patience, you're moving, you're act, there's action involved. I have to realize, hey, look, I've been training jujitsu over 10 years. You know, it took that amount of time to get the belt. You think at year five, I'm like, nah, I, I got, I'm out of here. I can't do this anymore. Year six, year seven, just, I just stayed down and, and do the work. I didn't even think about the belts. And so I approach everything. Head down and do the work and implement. You got to get uncomfortable. I'm seeing a lot of people happy because they can coast. That's terrifying. I'm seeing a lot of people letting fear stop them from really, really seeing who they are. I didn't see who I was. I didn't know who I was until I got over the hard shit. I really had to go through some things. And then it revealed, oh, this is what you're capable of. And once I realized that and I saw my true potential and I saw what I could be capable of even further, then I was like, oh, I'm unstoppable. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm unstoppable. And I want you guys to have that same mindset. I, I'm going to drill that over and over. And I'm going to keep, guys, I'm not going anywhere. It's been three years since I've been doing these videos. Because I want you to have that same mentality when you wake up and you're getting ready to conquer your day. You're conquering it with such an aggressive energy, with such... Uh, strong, you just, you can't wait to tackle whatever problem comes. Find it. Do you have it now? Is it there? Is it in you? Do you want it? It's really the more important question. Do you want it? Do you want this? More videos are on the way. I'm going to keep showing up, guys. Let's